Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick RAC009, the 3D alignment within Revit Architecture 2011. Ok, in this Tip and Trick we're going to take a look at one of the new features in Revit Architecture 2011, which is the 3D alignment tool. Now if your preference is to work in a 3D environment, you'll find that this will certainly aid your ability to create your design, um, and this is a really quite a nice tool uh, to be introduced into 2011. Ok, so I'm just going to start by creating a couple of walls. So the first one I'm just going to run up to from level 0 up to level 1 and our second wall I'm just going to run that up to level 2. So we have in effect created two walls at two different heights. Okay so now if I come into my 3D environment we can now see that this is the area where we're going to produce our 3D alignment. So in 2010 and previous releases of Revit this was not possible. However now if I go up to my Modify tab and click Align, I can now click the face of my wall and align my objects together. I can also now lock this, and so as we know, we have now constrained the wall into position, and if I simply select one of my walls and drag it, you can now see that they're both moving together to keep that alignment consistent. Okay, so that is uh, how we can use the 3D alignment within our modeling area and our modeling environment. If I just switch my view, this is also applicable within our conceptual massing. Again, within here, under the Modify tab, just click on Align. And here we can modify and align faces. We can align edges. Simply by tabbing through, we can align our levels, like so. So you can see now that the possibilities for doing your alignment it just basically means we can work in a much quicker, more flexible manner rather than having to go into a plan view or an elevation view to enable us to create our alignment this can now be fully done in our 3D view ok that's the tip and trick for looking at the 3D alignment within the new features of Revit Architecture 2011 thank you very much